All right, Sonic, play me a song. The eight-year-olds are wheezing right now. In 2021, the Sonic the Hedgehog social media team, along with a few others, put together the Sonic 30th Anniversary Symphony. Not only was it the only event to temporarily bring world peace to Twitter.com, but it also celebrated nearly every inch of Sonic game media. It didn't matter if you were a fan of the classic games, the adventure games, the Dark Age games, the meta era games, heck, even the more obscure Game Gear or Saturn games, you were heard at this concert. Your favorites were here and accounted for. Were they really? I mean, yes, of course, some people love Sonic 06, and some people hate Sonic Adventure. Many people were pandered to this day, even myself, but I can't shake the feeling that a specific group was left out. A very wide margin. Okay, I'm not talking about you, but you deserve love too. The symphony was a smash hit, and received a 9.5 on IMDb. Thus, Sega allowed the team to bring it across the globe with the Sonic Symphony World Tour. And by globe, I mean North America, Brazil, Europe, Japan, and not Australia. Want to line up? Bring it to Antarctica, cowards. Let Burgerman64 have his day. With the announcement of this tour, the team added a bunch of new tracks to the setlist, including Sonic Frontiers and Sonic CD medleys, the Sonic Superstars opening song, Break Through It All, What I'm Made Of, and a few others, with a few more announced to be at future shows. With this opportunity to add more tracks, I feel that it would be the perfect time to represent a part of the Sonic series that is often overlooked. A part that many are aware of, but don't know a whole lot about. That part is the Sonic Educational Games. The Sonic Educational Games were a massive part of the childhood of kids whose parents bought Leapsters thinking they were Game Boy Advances. Sonic Schoolhouse, Tales of the Music Maker, Sonic's Game World, and Sonic for the Didge are perfect examples of iconic games in this genre. I was one of the few people who actually wanted Sonic for the Didge. I remember around 8 years ago, I asked my mom if I could buy this game and the system it was 4 off of Amazon. I was 10 years old asking for a game made by 3rd graders. She said no. Well, guess what, mom? And that's when I found out I had autism. Back when I was growing up, I was one of the kids who didn't own a DS. I was a proud owner of a Leapster. I'd play games like the Backyardigans, Thomas Calling All Engines, K Kindergarten 3 plus 6 equals 9. That's a title and a half. Is that even a title? And Cars 2. This is where I am today. However, a game for these systems that I didn't know existed until later in my childhood was Sonic X. It was a 2D math platformer where Sonic ventured across a variety of vast locations to put a stop to Dr. Eggman's math robots and save his friends. You might be wondering, what exactly is the point of me bringing this game up? Well, it's quite simple. I believe that Sonic X for the Leapster specifically deserves a spot in the legendary set list for the Sonic the Hedgehog Symphony World Tour. Think about it. The Sonic Symphony is all about celebrating every piece of Sonic's game history. No matter if the game is considered one of the best games ever made or one of the worst, it's here and accounted for. This is perfect for Sonic X, since if you ask literally anyone who has played it, they'll tell you that the game is absolutely dreadful. Most Sonic games on the set list are iconic. Everyone knows about something like Sonic 06. That's right even dad. So if everyone knows about Sonic 06, everybody has at least heard of Sonic X and the Leapster. Except for dad. I'm sorry you had to learn like this. There are tons of bangers held in this small edutainment game. Take a listen to some of these certified hood classics. You've got Station Square. <laughs> Super Sucky Machine. Angel Island. And Eggman's Base. performed by the talented orchestra at the Sonic Symphony in some sort of Sonic X medley would be a magical experience that the audience wouldn't be able to help but erupt from. The people who played Sonic X as one of their first Sonic games deserve to be represented, and I want their voices to be heard. In order for this to go from funny meme status to actual reality, I'm starting the Sonic X Symphony hashtag to help our voices be heard by the Sonic Symphony team. The Sonic Symphony crew frequently interacts with the community on their Twitter and Instagram. I greatly appreciate it if you use this hashtag in a post that you make talking about the Symphony along with the actual Sonic Symphony hashtag so that it can be seen by the crew. Just please don't spam or harass the people behind the Symphony. Like. 
that nobody deserves that. Please do not do that. We need to show them how much this game means to people who grew up Game Boyless. If freaking Tails Adventure can get a spot on the set list, anything is possible. If freaking Tails Adventure can get a spot on the set list, almost anything is possible. So join me on this journey of once again bringing this game into the spotlight, not just as a meme, not just as some dumb edutainment game, but as a reminder of what made many people take one of their first steps into this franchise. Even if this is just a pipe dream that will never actually see the light of day, please support the team behind the masterpiece of this show in any way you can. They've already shown that they're fit for this honor of celebrating some of the most iconic music in history, and hopefully they have room for at least one more game. And Shota Nakama, Katie, if either of you are watching this, please don't put a Sonic Schoolhouse medley instead of the Sonic X medley just to spite me, I beg of you. <laughs>